Hello guys, welcome once again. This is Tech PBA. Thanks for joining me. In this video tutorial, I will take you through the installation of Cisco Packet Tracer. So Packet Tracer is a powerful network simulation tool where you practice or where you can practice networking in a simulated environment without needing expensive hardware. It also allows you to experiment with network topologies and configurations and observe the effects of their changes in real time. So we are going to look at how to install this very network simulation tool. So whether you are an entry level um, Cisco certifi certified support technician, uh, whether you are a CCNA, whether you are a CCNP enterprise, whether you are CCIE enterprise infrastructure, um, you need this very um, tool, which is the Cisco Packet Tracer, to practice um, the commands and everything, the configurations and everything on your Cisco devices, and then also practice networking um, in this simulation tool. So we'll look at the installation. The first thing we'll do is to open a browser, and then we'll search for um, download Cisco Packet Tracer. So once you search for it, um, the first link which says Cisco Networking Academy, go ahead and then click on it. Or I'll right click on it and then select open in a new tab. I'll select that tab. And then once you're on the netcard.com website, you want to scroll down and then under download and get started at the very far left which says getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer. Click on the view course. And then once you click on that, it will redirect you to the skills for all websites. And then on the skills for all websites, you want to um, select your language so you can go through the language and then select it and click get started. In my case, I selected English. So over here, you would need to sign in to the website to create your account. So if you, if you have an account, you can go ahead and then type the email. If you don't have an account, you can create one by clicking on the sign up down there, which says don't have an account. Click on the sign up to sign up. So you can click on that sign up. So from there, you would need to enter your details to sign up, your date of birth, your, the country of residence, year of birth, month of birth. But you could also sign in with or sign up with a Google account. That is what I'm going to do. So I'll click Google. Then from there, it will open the accounts.google.com web page for you. Once there, um, you would need to select your account. In this case, I selected one of the Google accounts over there. If you don't, if yours don't doesn't show up like mine did, you need to type your Gmail account and password to sign in. So once you sign in, you would be greeted with this um, Cisco Terms and Conditions um, page. You click select the I have read and agreed, and then click accept and continue. Once you click accept and continue, you'll be redirected to another um, web page. Just be patient for the page to load and then you can proceed. So once you see the getting started with Cisco Packet Tracer, you would see install Cisco Packet Tracer. From here, you want to scroll down, scroll down. So you see download Cisco Packet Tracer. So it says to obtain and install, click on that link. I, I selected that link and then I've been redirected to another web page, still on the skills for all web page, by the way. From there, you want to scroll down to you see download the version of Packet Tracer you require. You can download for Mac OS 64 bits. You can download for Ubuntu 64 bits. But in my case, I'm going to download for Windows 64 bits. I'll click select that. And then from there, the download should start 
on the far right hand side of your Google Chrome browser, just as we are looking at right now. So now the download is finished. I'll click on the, the download complete button, click on open folder to open the download folder. That is the Cisco Packet Tracer um, application. So from here, I'll double click on it to run the installation. So once you double click on it, the application will open. Select I accept and agree. Um, this is the place you can specify the location of the installation files. And it says you are going to need 566 megabytes of free disk space. Click next. Click next again, select which where you want the shortcut to be placed. So this is the installation. Um, click next again to proceed, and then the installation should begin for you. We'll wait for the installation to finish, and then we'll continue. So yes, you can see that the installation is done now, and you have the check mark on the launch. Cisco Packet Tracer, once you click the Finish button, I clicked Finish. Would you like to run in multi? You can click yes or no, depending on the choice. You I clicked yes. So once you click the yes, the Cisco Packet Tracer application should open for you. Then you can start getting your hands dirty with your networking stuff, with your Cisco stuff. So once, once that is done, you'll see the Cisco Packet Tracer window open for you. And then another pop-up will, will come up on your screen. Over here, you need to sign in. So you need to click the Skills for All um, button. That is where we logged in with our account. And then automatically, you should be... It will actually open a tab on your browser, which will show you that you have successfully logged in to Cisco Packet Tracer. So you can close that tab and then proceed. So once that is done, you will see that you have logged into your Cisco Packet Tracer. And then from here, you can play around with it. You can select um, where PCs are, drag your PCs, your laptops, your servers, your printers onto the working area. And then you can configure these devices. You can set up networking. You can create your own networking topology. You can create, you can practice networking with this application. And then you, you will see real time um, changes as you practice with them, just as um, you, would, you would have seen them if you were using um, actual devices, real devices. So just go ahead and play around with it. In subsequent videos, we'll talk more about the Cisco Packet Tracer and then what you can do with it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please kindly click on the subscribe button to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click on the like button if this was helpful. Please um, click on the share button to share this video. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye.